Konnichiwa, and welcome to the 413th podcast of the NC Roy County Anime Group. My name is Robert Clown. I'm currently the president of the group. Recently, I was online yesterday, and I read at the Anime's News Network that Funimation now has the rights to release on Blu-ray Sakura Wars the Movie. It's a marvelous movie. I highly recommend it for the ages of 14 up, and it's got beautiful music. Now, I was in the Comic Mon store not too long ago, and I got out their previews magazine, was flipping through it, and I found out some good news. Black Magic M66 is coming out on DVD again. Now, this is my copy. A friend of mine was so very kind to give it to me for my birthday. Black Magic M66 is about an android that runs amok and tries to kill the scientist's granddaughter. This was also too shown on the Sci Fi channel, and it is very violent. Believe me, people, uh, you see a lot of destruction. And it's just one little funny thing just to watch it all the way through. I couldn't believe that one android could be so powerful. Uh, this next animated series is called Gallic Force. Now, this was done by the producer of Bubblegum Crash and the writer of Megasom 23. It was also too shown on the Sci-Fi Channel. It has to deal with these women fighting against these aliens. Uh, recommended age for it. Is 13 up. The music is very nice, but the art style is relevant to its time. Now, this next anime I'm going to be showing you is a retelling of the Bubblegum Crash, but I'm going to talk about Bubblegum Crisis 2040. Now, my good friend Matt Greenfield worked on this. She is the husband of Tiffany Grant, and I have met Matt before a long time ago, about in 2002, at Deep South Con and Stellar Con. <laughs> they were both guests there. Now, at the time, I remember Tiffany was working on the Wallflower uh, series. This next anime that I'm going to tell you about is one that I think fans of Firefly and Blake 7 would love. And I'm going to highly recommend it. If you are fans of this series, you're going to love this series. And I'm going to talk about Outlaw Star. Now, this was put out by Bandai Entertainment. There is new tea in it, and there is some cursing in it. But the story is very well done. It has an umbrella theme. Uh, Wendy Lee worked on this series as ADR. She also did some voice work in this animated series. So if you ever get a chance, I highly recommend checking out Outlaw Star. It's a very nice piece. Now this next series was done here in America. And I'm going to talk about Dungeons and Dragons. Now this is 27 episodes long. I bought this box set, believe it or not, for $5.99. The complete series. And it's a marvelous little... Uh, adventure story. If you like magic, you like Dungeons and Dragons, this series is very well done. My late mentor is Sam Granger. He was an inkist for Marvel Comics and also to some other uh, comic book companies. Sam did for TSR a Finding Your Adventure book based on that animated series. And I remember Sam showing me some of the sketches from that he was putting into the hard of the how the Flying Adventure Stories, excuse me here, getting a little tongue-tied. And it's marvelous. He did a great job. Now, our next event for the NC Rowan County Anime Group will be on June 21st. We will be meeting at Woodley Flames from 6 to 8. We're going to be showing Pumpkin Scissors. In July 23rd at Woodley Flames, we will be showing High School from of the Dead from 6 to 8. Then on August 3rd, we are going to go down to Baka Oria, a Japanese culture festival at the Wells Fargo building, free and open to the public. Then August 17th, we are going to be having a crossplay picnic. And it's going to be in Salisbury City Park from 1 to 7. Then on August 28th, we are going to be meeting ooh, at the Rowan Public Library for our third annual j Pot night. That will be from 6 to 8 in the Hurley Room. Thank you for watching this podcast, and may you have a very good day. Goodbye.